Okay, I have a different screen that we're going to use to show you once it's been done and dry. Uh, we need to actually tape up our screen uh, to get ready to print. Um, the emulsion will block out all of that ink from coming through uh, from printing. What we have to do is block off all the rest of the areas that we want to keep the ink from going through. So what we need to do is we need to usually tape up the outside. So I have my really professional tape, which is actually just packaging tape. And this clear tape is what we're going to need to use to put down. We'll also need a small squeegee and scissors. Don't use an X-Acto knife for cutting this, just use scissors. Now, as I tape this across, I'm going to measure off the size that I want first. Okay. So I can cut off that edge that's right there. Once that's there on that edge, I'm going to be taping from the inside, about halfway up on the inside. I'm going to take my squeegee and kind of push down, trying to make sure that there's no bubbles as possible. Once I bring it down, I scrape it across. This process, this corner, is really important that you try to be as even as possible. If you have any wrinkles, really big bubbles in there, you'll want to try this again. Now, as we're taping, we're going to tape all the way around the outside, working in a spiral pattern. I've done this edge first. I'm going to be doing the edge first. Going across, measuring the size that I want, cutting that, taking that tape, putting it about halfway down, using my squeegee, starting on one side, down and dragging it flat across. You'll also notice one thing I forgot to mention since we are working in a high school, you never know what the next person has been doing on these tables. I put down a clean sheet of uh, newsprint just to keep my screen from getting dirty as well because we are replacing our screen with our screen size. Measuring off going in that spiral pattern. really important to keep that spiral pattern, you'll find out later on, because it makes it extremely easy for cleaning up. So once I've done all this all the way around, my last one on this side, going halfway down, infinitely easier. We are still working in that spiral pattern as we go around. I'm going to be taking my, my tape and now it's even easier because I can start on one side. I'm overlapping my tape at least um, a quarter of an inch or more and I'm starting in one area and now I can take my squeegee and start where I put it down and just bring my tape down and it becomes nice and even. And once I get to the far end Once again, spiral pattern, I'm working away, starting in the far end, overlapping my tape. Now, this is what I want you to make sure that you're aware of. When I'm coming, I'm cutting this so that it's only cutting up, coming up to the inside. I don't want to wrap around the outside. Okay. If I wrap around the outside, it makes it a lot harder to take the tape off. So I'll continue this. I'll go all the way.